great news for coffee lovers this morning with research showing large amounts of caffeine is safe for the heart. A new study by the British Heart Foundation found that drinking up to 25 cups of coffee a day was no worse for the arteries than drinking one. Coffee consumption has also been associated with reduced risk of cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, Parkinson's and other diseases. Sunrise GP Jenny Mansberg is here. 25 cups a day and it's fine for you. Does that sound strange? No, I thought it actually wasn't too surprised at all. Really? They, they excluded people from this study who drank more than 25 cups a day. They exist, those people. But for everyone else, they whacked them through an MRI machine, looked really closely at their arteries in their heart and they were no stiffer, they were no less healthy, unless you were having like lots of cigarettes and stuff as well. Right, OK. Mm. Um, what are the health benefits? Is there a safe limit of caffeine? Well, health benefits, we found lots. They're more by association, so you ask people how many coffees a day have you generally had. It's not that accurate, but it seems to cut, yeah, your risk of type 2 diabetes, uh, gout, so, uh, all sorts of things, liver cancer. Also seems to be quite good for depression and dementia prevention and possibly breast cancer as well. So there's a lot of research saying that it's quite beneficial, probably because of the antioxidants in the, in the coffee beans. Okay, let's look at how much caffeine is in things. What about an espresso? Quite a lot, 145 milligrams of caffeine in an espresso shot. So if you have a double, that's mm. really quite a lot. And that tends to be where a lot of doctors have traditionally put the safe limit of caffeine consumption a day is around that 200 to 250 milligrams a day. Not science based at all and right. as we found from this other study people are drinking much more than that. So um, how much coffee or caffeine in these caffeinated energy drinks? So it seems to be about roughly 80 milligrams so oh, yeah that's a lot much. less than a shot of coffee. Yeah right. I think for these bigger ones they have a bit more but for the general ones they're about 80 milligrams. Okay what about instant coffee that's less is it? Yeah that's around 80 milligrams as well so around the same as an average energy drink. Right, so you can have a few of those. Now, people forget there's actually caffeine in tea. And cocoa as well. Is there? Yeah. And how much? Well, so not that much. So in tea, you've got around 40 to 50 milligrams in a, in a, in a big cup of tea like that, about 250 mils. Okay. So, yeah. And cocoa? Yeah, even less in cocoa. So, yeah, it's unlikely to keep you up at night. Right. Um, cola, which, you know, there are a lot of. There's still caffeine in these? Yeah, there is. It tends to be around the same as a, a tea, so around 50 milligrams. Oh, so no, not very much. Okay, no. now we've got it all sorted. Thank you very much. Drink to your heart's content.